Ian, just briefly reflecting on last weekend's defeat to Newport, how's training been this week so far? Training's been good. Um, obviously, we're all we're all hurting at the moment. There's no doubt about that. Um, it was tough to take on Saturday. Disappointing. Uh, the start of the season's been disappointing. Um, but we have to, as I said last week, we have to keep recon confirming the positive messaging. Um, as I said, we we are training really well. It's just tr translating that to match days, and all of a sudden the lads are lacking confidence and lacking belief, and we have to stop the rot, so to speak. And we're, we're working ever so hard to do that. Um, again, this week they've been fantastic, but they have to take that into Saturday. There's no two ways about it. We have to start getting results. Uh, we will do, um, but Saturday's the start of a new month. Forget September now, let's let's go and attack October. We've got some good games this month, and hopefully by the end of this month we'll have a lot a lot more to look happier about. Is it a sort of time where you've maybe seen players kind of open up and, and speak home truths and maybe identify what's been going wrong in the first month of the season? I think um, when you've got a complete new group, no one wants to upset anybody. That's That's the big thing, and... Sometimes you have to be held accountable for, for your mistakes or if you're not doing the things that people want you to do or you're not, you're not running as far to help your teammates. When you're a new group, like I said, you, you want to make friends and not break them. But we're not here to make friends, we're here to win. And, and sometimes, you know, friends in football is great, but first and foremost, you have to have respect for one, one another and, and graft for one another. That's the bare minimum. And once you do that, relationships grow anyway. But for the first time, I've seen aggression. I've seen the bit between the teeth. I've seen some falling out, which I'm happy about. I've seen them kicking each other in training, which I'm also happy about. And as I said, we need to take that into Saturday. We have to stop the rot uh, and start getting some good results. Yeah, you're touching it there. I'm sure you'll have seen the reaction you wanted on the training ground this week. And you've said it before, but what you'll really want is, is to see that reaction and see that response on the pitch on Saturday. Yeah, and that's... And that's where you, you know, we're all judged on Saturdays. It doesn't matter what happens Monday to Friday, really, because the most important thing is that result on a Saturday. However, the process is important, and the processes we're putting in place, it, it's positive. But proof's in the pudding. We need to get to Saturday, as I said, put on a performance, be hard to beat, but also be better and braver with the ball than we were on Saturday. We weren't brave enough. We weren't good enough with the ball. And then we'll get the good, the right results. You earn your own luck in this game. There isn't any such thing as, as luck. You make your own luck by hard work. Um, we've seen hard work this week. We've changed the working week of it, and made it more difficult. And hopefully on Saturday we'll see the fruits. A couple of new players brought in last week as well. Lloyd and Arthur, how have they settled in? Yeah, good. OK. Um, I spoke last week, um, I think, about the danger we have in recruiting players that haven't been in clubs or aren't at clubs or been attached to clubs, especially on the back of a lockdown. Um, with lockdown and then pre-season and now we're in September, when you get these players in, there's a chance they might break down just because they're not up to speed and ready to hit the ground running. Unfortunately, Lloyd's picked up a bit of an injury, so he won't be available, um, but Arthur's doing fine. so. Again, we have to get Lloyd back as quickly as we can and get them get them both up to speed and where we need them. Yeah, selection-wise, could the weekend's game be perhaps an opportunity for you to, to try something new in terms of the personnel that you're going to use? Possibly. Possibly. I'm not going to give too much away, but what I'll say is this week I've seen a real desire to earn a shirt and earn the chance to play on a Saturday. That's what I want. I want that intensity in training. I want them to, to be at it, so to speak, and, and really give me 110% day in, day out, and, and show that they care and show that they want to play. And this week I've really seen that, so there's opportunities definitely that are coming around. We've got a lot of games this month, there will be some opportunities, and as I said, when they get the shirt, they've got to make sure they take the chance and stay in there. Just finally, looking ahead to the weekend's game against Harrogate, a newly promoted side who you're obviously very familiar with from last season, what are you expecting from there? Yeah, I know a lot, I know a lot about Harrogate, um, probably more than most. Um, Simon's done a fantastic job there. Um, they are hard to play against in terms of their intensity. They are grafters. They really work hard for one another. Um, they, they put you under pressure. They'll put the ball into areas which force you to defend and make you defend. Um, they 
very good from set pieces, as most League Two teams are. We have to be at the races, it's as simple as that. We have to make sure that we, we are better with and without the ball than we were on Saturday. From what I've seen this week, I think we will be, but as I said, proof is in the pudding. We'll go on Saturday and we'll try and get the right result.